stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Let's not keep Chevalier waiting. I'm so sick, Rita. The space, the... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! <laughs> you simpleton! You rot-brained cabbage farmer! You simpleton! You rot-brained cabbage farmer! Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close! The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. 
ready to teach them a lesson. They don't stand a chance. Where are you, my sir, you bilge rat? Thank you. Keep an eye out, lad! The pals are still out there somewhere! There he goes again. Stop! Stop! You want to make that go simply? Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain. But next to me, you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel. Even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons. She'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, come now. She's a man. But she's still afloat. And her name's the Bargain. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for her. Morgan was an old goddess, the queen of war and darkness. The hearts and souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. A ship! Citizen. They will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, men! Stop them! 
void. No! No! Blue's up. He's a snake. They're tearing her to pieces. Do something. Seems this vessel is battle ready after all. I will return to what is left of Le Gerfou. It's a long way home, and we have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. What the hell did you do? It's... some kind of dormant virus? Emergency. Shit! Hang on, I'm getting you out of there! Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. This is not you were just an anonymous. Anonymous, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in oh, case everyone. you're wondering. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. St this is not a test. We repeat, this is not a test. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DeCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor.
that flashing wireless signal? Great. That means you can still access systems. Go ahead and patch me into their feed. Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Good job. This core wasn't too complex. But rebooting the advanced hardware in the rest of the building will require more work. Assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an Admiral of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Al Dair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al-Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. Hey boss, calling from Germany? Yes, I am in Essen, searching for an artifact called the Ankh of Isis. Could you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. Okay, not much. There's an obscure file from the data dump scanner that mentions it. It was allegedly 14th century Germany, where an assassin named Lucas Zergberg fought a Templar offshoot called the Brothers of the Cross. <laughs> How original. That's the file that led me to this bland shit pile. Is there anything else? Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history. From Roman Gallia, Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh. And it apparently raises the dead. Is there any evidence to support this? None at all. You know what I think? 
I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around so that people like us waste our valuable time sniffing after it. Smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. I'm going to excavate the observatory. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale. How go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He's a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. You see? You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened, old friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like Are you this. still here? But did find something to do, or I will find something for you! The earthquake hit. I cannot know. Von Rodi has not been found. He was a strong Maroon, one of Makandal's best students. Such a shame. So we cannot know if he found the site. Indeed. But if there was a temple under the waves, I doubt it is still standing. And the artifacts that showed the way? Stolen. The Templars broke in during the chaos. They seized the manuscript and precursor box. I gave chase on the sea, but lost their trail when they reached New York. We must consider what to do next. And the Wally looked worried earlier. I heard that Liam's waiting for you. Seen him yet? I hear Mistress Hope was looking for you. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Shoot these targets. You can take your time, but not too much. There's more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hit targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on. Hurry up!
You're almost there. Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What will we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? Done. I am surprised. Top form, Shay. You certainly know how to handle hey. yourself. Attack from around a corner, and your target will never know what hit him. Nicely done. I am surprised. You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. Time for the hunt. Use all your senses together to find prey. Now to use what you have taken from nature. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templars as far as its coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. 
Farewell, Adewale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. We only have one lead, Shane. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mackendall, Shane. We have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? Watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shane. Do this for him. For us. Do much more than earn his trust. Liam, you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts. Studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins of all continents. Of course? Liam. You could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. 
But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who work with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the Rus beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. Happens. He also has friends in both the French and the English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what can you tell me about Ali Wally? You obviously admire the man. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Ali Wally was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Roots Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? About 20 years ago, Adewali intercepted a Templar convoy and stole a mysterious package. He traveled to Port-au-Prince and... to a woman he believed was loyal to our cause. There, Captain. An English vessel. And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Pretty sight. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. Your shot could be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and should go down with all souls. And all spoils. We can board and move. Who knows what to do? Don't want to sink her. Now's the time. Let's board her. Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. Spires are ours. For the more again.
Brace yourselves! Now, the sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master stationed nearby. We'll spend our new wealth on improvements. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. There's the gala! Better borrow some coin. Bartering with an empty purse won't get you very far. What's on your mind, Captain? Bit of business, that. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Careful, ship. These waters are... Full. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. Scalpers must pay! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way. Sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Strip us off the wind! Cut out some sail! Yes. I hope the chasseur has more information than the magistrate. 
Maybe he'll have the whole thing figured out for us. And maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obvious Caesar. Salt air, open skies, a man out on the ocean. He's as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shane. Mind your duty. Well, what's the point of freedom? You cannot breathe deep and enjoy it. The Templars stick to this job. It's hard. Don't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like that instead of skulking around. Your neck? Of course not. I murdered a bastard who wanted to control the world and everyone in it. Never forget. And we have nothing in common with that, of course. Find a vessel shape. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Go on ahead, Shay. We will meet you at the fort. The rum here is terrible. Let me see. Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could get Where it. is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks.
Please accept my most sincere thanks, sir. Who's down? Catch the wind! Spread our wings to the wind! Shanty! Over there, And where it went, I swear again. Ships may come and ships may go as long as the sea goes. to land, go. Captain! What a sailor lad, just like his dad, he loves the flowing bowl. A woman ashore, he does adore. A girl who's bumping round. When your money's all gone, it's the same old song. Get up, Jack John, sit down. He's off the wind. Come along, come along, you jolly brave boys. Don't you say it? Trim us off the wind. We'll fly away. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Oh, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. 
And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Aye. There she is! All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading tanker. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados. But I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. All in those halyards, he! Get them! Loading cargo! Brief the time! Blockade, Captain! Right, this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Track that package and find Washington. Sub blockade. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> 
is in this package? The captain would tell us not, but that it was fragile. What's this? A rifle. You there! Stay! Where you are. How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Buster Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. You've got to get involved in politics, no? Huh. He and half of the guests here tonight. Next. It's 
still peaceful around here. No criminals, no French. What I wouldn't give for a good war. Don't say such nonsense. Can't help it. I've got a soldier's blood. Brother, are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. God damn it! Better hurry. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around.
Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. And find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? Stop, so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The chasseur has a lead on the box. Him and Chevalier's the Enemy heading for us, sir! Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shane. It's a long talk without a water about that. He believes the box can be activated to project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front, and we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome, bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? 
I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both can be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. Then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convents they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. Price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Harry, get straight to land, Captain! Trim the yards off the wind! Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Puckle's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Fire! 
Captain. I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Shane. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. They also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram. I have heard of such technology that are weakness in separation. What about Smith then? Close by. Aye, he sails his very waters. There he may is. Have Most a fortunate timing. Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us. Give chase. But hold your fire. We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Our target's a smart man. Out of his element here. Samuel Smith is the death of What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to beat someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. He's I would have known about it. But well, he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? With him out of the way... Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship. We'll force him to beach. Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. We're slicing through the ice! He worked. The way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune moves. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. The foe patrols these waters. It's an ambush. Halfway you sit, you have a man. Smith must not escape. Brace your sons. Disappoint him, and he's still within reach. of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have them. Got us that time! 
Winds can't be vicious. No soul but mates. Crowd it all on. Now we know where he was headed. Barson has an encampment here. Follow him on the Near that precious box. I'll take care of this. Anchor. What you're doing? <coughs> this cannot be. <coughs> no. Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. Now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed.
Lewis and Cards go in. Loose Tops and Royals. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. <laughs> 